Hello everyone, it's Emily here and I'm back with another Cornwall Wildlife Trust Reserve Nature Trail. This time I'm at the lovely St Earth Pitts Reserve and this was actually Cornwall's first geological reserve where the wildlife has now completely taken over the once worked pits. This reserve is now quite largely dominated by semi-mature woodland and there are still some sand and clay deposits here that are known as the St Earth Beds. And one of the most interesting things about this reserve is that it actually contains quite a rich fossil fauna. There have actually been fossilised sea snails, corals and sponges all found at this reserve. Now the best time to visit this reserve is around May to August so this is the perfect time of year. So I'm going to take a little stroll around and let's see what we can find along the way. Now this is a truly wonderful find. This is a green dock beetle and it is sitting on a dock leaf. And these beetles are named dock beetles because they love to feed on dock leaves. <laughs> and just a little further up on the same plant, we actually have the larvae of the green dock beetle here as well. This is just wonderful to see the different life stages on the same plant. So when this little dock beetle larvae is ready, it will pupate into the ground and emerge as an adult about six to nine days later. The shell of a green dock beetle is a perfect example of structural colour, where the shells or exoskeletons of the beetles are made up of lots of reflective layers that also contain melanin, which give them their beautiful, different colours. So it is definitely the time of year for butterflies and here we have a beautiful meadow brown. Very similar looking to the gatekeeper butterfly but the wings have less orange coloration on them compared to the gatekeeper and the meadow brown is slightly larger as well. There's a beautiful speckled wood butterfly over there as well. So pretty. So let's talk about butterfly wings. Well, if you were to zoom in really close on a butterfly's wing, you will see that it is made up of lots of tiny wing scales. Now these scales are very important for the butterfly. Not only do they provide the butterfly with its beautiful wing colours, they are also filled with air, so they actually help to insulate the butterfly's body. Just like many other insects, beetles are also extremely important pollinators. Here we actually have a yellow dung fly and these flies actually eat other flies which appears to be what is happening here. Have you ever come across this kind of spit-like substance on plants in hedgerow areas and wondered what it is? Well, this is actually secreted by the nymphs of an insect called a frog hopper. And the nymphs secrete this spit-like substance from their back ends during their nymph stage as protection. So yes, inside this spit little substance here is a little frog hopper nymph. But we do not want to disturb him, so 
can leave that up to your imagination. <laughs> now there are lots of stinging nettles all over the hedgerows here and stinging nettles are actually really important for the ecosystem because many species actually rely on them. Lots of butterflies use them as food plants such as the peacock butterfly and ladybirds can often be seen on stinging nettles feeding on aphids that like to hide on them. Stinging nettles are also a perfect evolutionary adaptation example because they have evolved stinging cells. The long hollow hairs that are found on their stems and under the leaves are actually filled with formic acid and histamine and other chemicals and this adaptation is to stop predators from feeding on them. There is lots of beautiful red campion here, a very important hedgerow plant, especially for pollination of course. Now I know I spoke about red campion on a previous nature trail, but I thought I would include it in this one as well because I recently found out a really interesting fact about this flower. So the seeds of red campion actually used to be used to treat snake bites a long time ago, which I just found really interesting, so I thought I would tell you about it. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed this Reserve and Nature Trail. I certainly did. There is just so much to see here and I found so many different things in such a short space of time. So I'm really happy. But stay tuned for many more nature trails to come as usual and keep safe on your wild walks and I'll see you all again soon. Bye. <laughs>